English class. Today in this class, I am going to teach you a grammar question. Simple compound complex sentences. What is a simple sentence? Simple sentence is an independent clause. Okay. First, simple sentence. It is an independent clause. Independent clause. So, last video, when I was taking adjective clause, uh, adverb clause, noun clause, you got the idea what is a clause. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words. Which is giving a meaning and it has a subject and a predicate. Okay. So, simple sentence means it is an independent clause. Okay. That means it has a subject plus one verb will be there. Okay. This verb will be a finite verb. It will be written more clear for you. The first example, I will write it here. Grace opened the window. Grace opened the window. So, what is a simple sentence? It has, which is an independent clause. That means, it will have a subject. Plus one verb. Only one uh, verb will be there in simple sentence. That verb will be finite verb. Okay. Yeah. So here you can see Grace opened the window. In this sentence, Grace is subject. Opened the window is the verb. Opened is the verb. The window is the object. Okay. So this is a simple sentence. Sometimes in simple sentence, compound subjects will be there. Okay. For example, the table, the table and chairs, chairs need to be cleaned. Need to be cleaned. Table and chairs. So here the table and chairs, two subjects. Okay, compound subjects also will be there in simple sentence. So this is subject. One verb we will get that is one. Okay, so here uh, this is also one simple sentence. Okay, so what is a simple sentence? Simple sentence is an independent clause. Only one idea will be that. Which is an independent clause. Only one subject and one verb will be there. Okay. Sometimes compound subjects also will be there but only one idea we will get from the simple sentence. Okay students. So simple sentence consists only one clause. Which is an independent clause. Okay, it is independent, which will give complete meaning. Clear students? So let's go to the compound sentence. What is a compound sentence? Okay, next is compound sentence. Compound sentence also will be very easy. Compound. Okay, in the science, I already have a learned. Compound. Okay, compound. What is a compound sentence? Compound sentence means it's a mixture. Okay, it's a mixture of two or three items. Here also we will get two independent clauses. 
nor okay and but yet so etc so for our easy purpose we can keep it as fan boys okay fan boys from this word we can find out what which are the coordinate conditions f4 fan a4 and n4 no b4 but o4 or y4 yet s4 so clear students okay so this is these are the coordinating conjunctions so compound sentence did you get one idea shall we go with some examples so through examples it will be little more clear for you so compound sentences means two independent clauses conjunction will be there two complete and meaningful ideas will be get okay for example grace opened the door okay first we will go with this grace opened the door grace opened the door okay full stop one more idea i will write it here she looked outside she looked outside Independent clauses which has a 
complete meaning. That's a compound sentence. Okay. Now let's go to the complex sentences. What is a complex sentence? Okay. Complex sentence the same way how we learn this one. Okay. Here also we are learning about clauses. Complex sentence. Complex sentence. Go. 
questions. Okay, that means some questions you should be able to identify whether it is simple or compound or complex sentence. Okay, shall we go to the exercise? Okay, students, here I have written few examples. Okay, let's go to the exercise. When I got home from work yesterday, I watched TV for an hour. I'm a teacher and my wife is a lawyer. I love to travel because I got to meet a lot of interesting people. We are having pizza for dinner tonight. Okay, so you have to identify whether these sentences are simple, compound or complex sentences. So, let's go to the first sentence. When I got home from work yesterday, I watched the TV for an hour. Can you identify one uh, complete meaningful idea from the sentence? Yeah, here I will be I watch TV for an hour. This is one independent clause. We are getting complete meaning. But here you see, when I got home from work yesterday, when I got home from work yesterday, if we are getting sentence like this, this is what we get dependent because it is not getting moreover than here one subordinate conjunction is there. So this sentence is a complex sentence. Second sentence. I am a teacher and my wife is a lawyer. Okay. So here you see, I am a teacher. Complete meaning they are getting. My wife is a lawyer. Complete meaning they are getting. And these two sentences connected by one coordinate conjunction. So easily we can say this is yes. It's a compound sentence. It's a Compound sentence. Okay, so here I love to travel because I get to meet a lot of interesting people. I love to travel. This is one independent universe. We are getting me complete. I have to travel. Okay, yeah. So here you see, because I get to meet a lot of interesting people, when we are taking this one, we are getting one dependent universe and this because is not as one subordinate conjunction. So this sentence is a complex sentence. Okay. Yeah. Here we are having pizza for dinner tonight. We are having pizza for dinner tonight. So here you see. Uh, we are having pizza. Here one subject is there. One verb is there. Okay. No uh, coordinate conjunctions. No subordinate conjunctions. No different ideas. Only one idea is here. So this is known as a simple sentence. Okay students. Once again watch this video. This is not easy. Once again watch this video. Learn. Revise. And we have to be able to to be able to identify simple compound or complex sentences, then only we can transform these sentences into different type of sentences. Okay. So next year class will be little difficult. It is not easy. So practice well this one. Okay, students. Hope you understood this one. If you have any doubt, contact me and if you have any doubts, okay, next class we will.